What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome just to a quick post on Forza Horizon 5 real quick. There was an update pushed out today on February 1st. So I wanted to go ahead and, you know, run through that real quick. So, um, like I said, this will be just a quick video. It's more so just going through the update. So starting out here with game stability, um, looks like they have miscellaneous stability, memory and performance fixes. Um, they fixed the crash, but when a crash would occur when the game was installed at a path that was too long. It seems like that was a Steam only error. Um, it says an error message will now appear instead, so it won't crash. They fixed a bug where a or fixed a bug that could block progress on Horizon stories with later chapters not unlocking despite meeting their requirements. And they fixed a crash that can occur when deleting a rival's notification in the message center. So that's all in that game stability section. Moving on to the multiplayer, which is a lengthy section here. All right, so now we're just gonna go through a few of the multiplayer ones, gotta hit the high level ones. Um, so uh, they've got various fixes for server stability and bandwidth optimization to improve the reliability of all online game modes. That's a big one there for sure. Uh, players will no longer lose their skill chain when they disconnect from Horizon Life. That's a big one for me. I've had that a few times when I've been uh, matchmaking. Um, some of these other ones I haven't really seen. I'll put them up on the screen just for you guys to look at them. Looks like another big one at the bottom there is um, all players will be able to now see all Horizon Outposts during Eliminator regardless of whether they have unlocked them yet. Kind of gives you a um, waypoint of where you're at, which is nice. Um, in the Eliminator, if a player disconnects after you challenge them, you're now considered to have won the challenge rather than losing it. That's an interesting bug, I guess, that that was an issue. And then they fix inconsistency and in team names in the end of race leaderboard. So um, those are the big uh, multiplayer updates. Of course, like, like I said, there's a big group of them. Um, and I'll put those up on the screen just so you can read through them. Um, they fix some wheel compatibility issues. Um, fix missing rumble on wheel input devices on PC. Uh, some other miscellaneous ones. Fixed a bug that would cause force feedback to be lost on the Logitech G920 after suspending the title. Added wheel mapping for the Hori force uh, feedback wheel. Added a bug that would prevent some handbrake peripherals from working consistently. Okay, good deal. Alright, so exploits here. So they rebalance some car mastery tables to remove exploit loops. Um, it says this will refund player skill points on any affected cars. So you may be getting some skill points back if you did that. Um, you know, they fixed an exploit where, which allowed players to earn skill points whilst AFK. So they've got another round of trying to take out the AFK uh, skill point farms. And then they fix an exploit with wheel spins, which I wasn't even aware of. So uh, some good changes there. They've got some PC changes dealing with um, improved uh, performance when running an ultra. Um, let's see. And basically that's just performance stuff for graphics and such. Uh, made some changes to some cars. I'll put those up on the screen now instead of reading all those off. Just little miscellaneous things that they were changing there. Changed up some accolades as well. More so fixed some accolades is what I should say. Um, so I'll put those up on the screen now. Again, I'm not trying to make this a long video. I'm just trying to hit the big ones here. All right. And so on to event labs. The big one here is uh, previously created routes can now be edited. So in event labs, you used to have to like do all of your creating in one session because it didn't allow you to go back into them. Um, so that's definitely the big one there. So um, I'll put the rest of those up on the screen if you want to check those out and read through them. All right, and on to the festival playlist. So they fixed an issue where seasonal championships wouldn't complete if the player changed difficulty settings on the pre-race menu, which is weird because for me, that's always been locked. So I'm not really sure how somebody could change that. Um, but hopefully that fixes a lot of the issues that people have been um, stating in my comments where they would complete the championship and it wouldn't give them the reward, whether it be a car or whatever. So 
Uh, players can now matchmake into Horizon Open directly from the Horizon Open tile on the festival playlist. That's good. I mean, that's just quality of life there. Um, prevented progress on the festival playlist weekly challenge being reset after a user experiences a server error. Um, that would be very upsetting if that was on that 100 mile Bentley uh, challenge. Uh, they fixed a PR stunt that caused, or fixed a bug that caused PR stunts to disappear after the weekly season change. Hmm. Weekly challenges completed stat was also fixed. We showed the number of completed challenges rather than chapters. Okay. Seasonal collectible challenge progress will now persist between boots of the game, so you get to do it all in one sitting. That's interesting. Treasure chest and seasonal collectibles are no longer counted towards the bonus board collection stat. Okay. Players must now take part in a complete Horizon Arcade, meaning all three rounds or all ten minutes. So you have to stay to the end in order to get the festival playlist challenge. And the weekly challenge will no longer show incorrect progress towards its chapter when driving a car that does not meet its requirements. Interesting. Alright, so here is the last section here. It's just labeled other. Um, so I'll let you read through that if you want. I'll just throw it up on the screen. Doesn't look like there's anything super duper interesting there. Um, miscellaneous little changes. So um, that is all of the updates. Hopefully the stability um, fixes for multiplayer and just the general game stability really help out here um it's been a long time since an actual patch has come out i think the last one we had was the actual last actual patch was december 3rd we've had two hot fixes since then both of them being in december so it has been well over two months almost two months since the last actual patch which is kind of crazy so hopefully these do um help out with again performance issues miscellaneous game performance online performance all that fun stuff hopefully it fixes the weekly festival playlist challenges that have been plaguing people and hopefully we can get this game into a really really good state at this point in time so hope you guys did enjoy the video or found it helpful uh definitely leave a like on the video get subscribed for future forza horizon 5 content but other than that i hope you have a great day and we'll see you in the next one